Well, guys, also, look, I wanted to show you something uh, in the campaign that I found. So check this out. I was hoping to catch this in, in this walkthrough, uh, in this playthrough. So this is what's called a Mjolnir Armor Locker. Okay, and they're scattered throughout the campaign in Halo Infinite. And if you have a look at them, when you open them, now I didn't know this was a thing until I actually found one by accident. They're not difficult to find, they are on the map. But you actually unlock cosmetics from these, uh, from these armor lockers that you can play in multiplayer. Um, that you can customize from the front menu. So which is cool, because what you can do is you essentially play through the campaign and finally unlock um, cool campaign specific cosmetics, which is pretty rad, I think. So, yeah, that's a plus, in case you didn't know that before. At least you can unlock it through the campaign in some interesting way. And I think that's a nice touch, uh, to kind of keep that loop going between the multiplayer and the campaign, so it's less separation, so gamers can actually engage with both quite seamlessly. There's a bit of feed into each other. So, yeah, Mjolnir armor lockers in Halo Infinite. That's how you get some extra campaign-specific cosmetics. Pretty cool, eh? All right, guys. Let's make a new one. So, toggles between Legacy and Resurrected. Check that out. So this was the original. This was the original Diablo 2 back in the day. Okay. 